26 inch wheel bikes are pretty much dead, at least when it comes to buying a new bike. Only super entry level kids' bikes or the type of mountain bikes you're going to buy in hardware shops still have those size wheels. But I rode a 26 inch wheel bike this summer and it was good. So good, it made me want to build my own. So this is bike I built, a 2012 Nuke Proof Scout downhill bike, because I think the 26 inch wheels really suit a downhill bike. And for some courses, some tracks, I think they're as good, if not better, than the bigger wheel alternatives. And obviously you can get these for such a good price now. So I looked around Facebook, Marketplace, eBay, bought this frame for 90 pounds. Check out the video where I talk you through building it. I've used some of my old parts like bars and brakes. I've blagged a few bits. So I've tried to do it on the cheap and I've kind of blagged it a little bit because I've you know found uh, new wheels for it. But I think you could really do one of these on the cheap. I reckon you could build a bike like this for under 500 pounds. And I've done it kind of a bike park jumpy bike because I've gone single speed. I actually really like that, super clean bars, just brakes, no gears. So not necessarily a great downhill racing bike, but for what I've built this for, I'm really excited because I've not ridden it yet. I'm here, bike park Wales, gonna hit some jumps, hit some downhill trails and uh, see just how good a 10 year old downhill bike is. So this 2012 Nuke Proof Scout would have been raced at the World Cups. Actually, the Nuke Proof Chain Reaction team was people like Matty Lekoinen, Matt Simmons, Joe Smith. It was just before the Sam Hill days when actually they brought out the new bike, the Pulse. But this, you know, was a legit downhill bike and it still is, it feels like it to me. And this actual specimen is in really good condition. Uh, the bearings feel as good as new. You've got this massive sort of main pivot, so the big bearings in there. Still super stiff, really sort of built to last. It's aluminium frame. There's a little ding here and there, but it's actually been kept in really good condition because, you know, these are kind of my downhill racing days and my downhill bike would not have looked like this. They were getting thrown in the back of uplift trucks, scratched to smithereens, but this is immaculate. I've kind of been over it with a black Sharpie to finish some of the scratches, but it looks great. Like I said, I've had some bits bottled onto it. I've had the suspension serviced, fresh tires, fresh grips. So it feels like new and, uh, yeah, let's put it right. Oh man, wow, it's good actually. Trails are running good. It was so wet last night that I think you know it's not rolling that fast, which isn't playing to this bike's strengths. But I'm gonna ride some jumps anyway, and uh, I may have to crank in between them. We'll see. It does feel good to throw it around in the air, the little wheels, like love it, just whipping the bike out. I would say it's easier to do, but it's also easier to get wrong. I do think with like 29ers, you're kind of more stable in the air. It's harder to like nose down, dive and stuff. It also reminds me that actually trails like this, they're kind of better on trail bikes and jury bikes because actually they're not very steep. It doesn't feel so far on this bike like I've been going too fast. I'm always like really trying to work for speed. And these jumps, I'm just sprinting between, and there's a jump over there that I've not cleared yet. I'll try, but uh, yeah, watch this. Oh yeah. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at the old bike side by side with a bang up to date downhill bike, the new proof descent. I have the mixed wheel size version, but let's compare against the 27.5, I think that's fairer. So the old scalp has a head angle of 63 degrees, 209 mil of rear travel. The reach on a medium is 390, and that only goes up to 410 mil for the biggest frame, the large. 
and a wheelbase of 1196 millimeters. Compare that to the new 27.5 Descent, the medium sized bike has a reach of 445 millimeters and a wheelbase of 1241. 200 mil of travel and head angle also of 63 degrees, same as the old bike. So as well as a modern bike being about five centimeters longer, a big difference is now is how tunable downhill bikes have become. There's a main pivot flip chip that lets you change the rear suspension curve in four different ways, depending on how linear or progressive you want the rear suspension. There's also three position chainstay length for getting precise weight balance on both wheels. Hi, jumps. Done, somewhat dusted. I reckon we should head in, ride some tech stuff, see what the bike's like, prop it down now. Jumps, maybe today's not the best day for it. Super wet uh, December day in Wales. Everything's running really slow, so it's a bit of a pig trying to get over the jumps. I can feel once I'm in the air, it's good. I can throw it around. That's a great thing about little wheels. Just way more maneuverable in the air. If you want to do whips, tables. Yeah, I've not done many today, but it feels good. I know it's going to be for that. On the downhill track, it feels amazing. You need the speed. I'm kind of... Uh, you know, I feel a little bit limited by single speed here at Bike Park Wales. You're kind of pedaling around a little bit. It feels like I've got a massive gear. I've got a 36 ring, 13 tooth sprocket. But once you go downhill, it feels about right. So, you know, it's probably not too big, but on the flat, it's almost useless. I'm kind of getting off and pushing quite a lot. Downhill feels great. On the rough stuff, like I'm riding now, it feels amazing. It feels super maneuverable. We talk about agile bikes. You know what, 2022 World Cup downhill, only one race is one on a 29er. Everything else is one on mixed wheel sizes. So of course it's 26 front and rear. You could probably try a 29er on the front. You have to change the fork. It was slacking out even more, it'd raise up a bit, maybe too much. You could try it, but I guess that's not really what this bike's about. It's about fun. Single speed at least, it's no race bike. So, you know, throwing it around on the rough stuff feels amazing. Uh, probably feels faster than it actually is, but I'm fine with that. There you go, 26 inch Daniel bike did not disappoint. I can't believe how fresh it feels as well. Like with the suspension fixed, the like the said before, the bearings on the rear end are so smooth, it just rides as good as a new bike and uh, I'll definitely ride it some more. I can't wait till everything is run a bit faster, I can throw it around on some jumps a bit more. So I'll try and ride it again when it dries up. If I was to ride somewhere where it needed to paddle around a bit more, uh, then maybe I would go for one of those small Daniel cassettes, but to be fair, just throwing around at a bike park on the jumps. I think the single speed is amazing. It's so quiet as well. Would I choose it over my Descent, which is mixed wheel size downhill bike? Well, not for downhill racing. I still would go for that. But for just thrashing around the bike park, yeah, actually would probably choose this bike. Let me know if you still ride 26 inch bike and if you love it. And also tell me what bike you think Blake should get and where we should go and ride together.